<laughs> that one song has made her more money than me and you will both see together in our entire lives. That That's and it's it's not gonna stop. No, it'll she'll die. That that it's gonna go on Christmas classics. <sighs> like what we used to listen to when we were right. kids. Yeah. I can't even think of any of the songs right now, so I'm laughing. <laughs> Me too. I was like, shit. They were old. Though we, we know yeah. they were old. Yeah, yeah. Old, old shit. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you call the old shit? The real old Pre- shit. <laughs> real. Prehistoric. <laughs> um, did you see the video I sent you, bitch? You didn't send it, nigga. Yo, I cannot deal with meta. They're hurting, bro. They're struggling right now. Bro, I see it that it was sent to you. Oh, there we go. I got it now. Is this it? What the fuck is the fat Jew? Bro, I'm looking at your stupid fucking face. Good morning, America. Just the <laughs> no, but that shit is crazy. <laughs> is you seen it? No. Bro, you know who that is? That's Kylie Klum. I don't even know who that is. Okay. Uh, so, anyways, she's the model. Well, she was hot once upon a time. Okay. And she got a, like a... First of all, when you look at the video, it's some white chick, nigga. When you look at her video, it looks like um, those stupid filters where you th- that snapshot of Facebook has where you put like the the cat one or the the evil eye in the mouth. It yeah. looks like that. It looks it looks like they. It doesn't even it doesn't even look like a it looks like an edited image, but it's a freaking her. She it's, dressed up as a worm, nigga. That's cute. This, what's this video? Yes. Things that make no sense in twenty twenty two. Black lives matter. Except in the womb. Women's rights are human rights, but no one, not one person can define what a woman actually is. We are told to trust the science, but denied basic biology. Uh, Love is love. Unless you love God or your country, then you're a right-wing extremist. And uh, we live in a tolerant, welcoming society that doesn't judge anyone based on race, gender or faith. Except when you're a white Christian male, then you're... Dumb. How did we get here, guys? How? You love white women. First of all, she's British. <laughs> I think she's Australian, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll do, we'll do that, too. Yeah, that definitely is Australia. Yeah, that's Australian. Or Canadian. Yeah. Um, oh, not Canadian. I don't know. They're all the same white people. Um, it's exhausting to separate Oh, this is the them. official video. Which one of the best savings rates in America? The Making one I was watching was the updated like remix. Yes. <laughs> it is older. You can tell. She made that song. She probably hated it when it first came out. She's like, I, I can't believe I'm doing this. Christmas song. I didn't. I, I'm, I'm, would you make a Christmas song if you're famous? She, like, so you're saying that she made that song when she was coming down? Yeah. Like, I, can't, I, don't, I don't know. What's next? Fucking commercials on Channel 9? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be on Fox 5. <laughs> Alright, what do you want to cover now? The COVID and Misty? You didn't read it. I told you I wasn't. I want to stay true to my nature, nigga. Alright. What up? I like the fact that we don't introduce ourselves. I, I feel like that was such a stupid thing no to do. No one cares. That's what it comes down to. If they really want to know, go to the website. They'll or, ask. Or just go 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 four episodes ago and listen to the first ten seconds and then come <laughs> you back. Know who we are. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious because we did it every single episode. Yeah. And uh, does Joe do that? No, he no. doesn't introduce himself. He but introduces he has a, his guest. He has a intro. The Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah, right. That was just a reenactment of Joe's intro. What up, Joe? Remember when Joe commented on one of our stupid postings? I remember that. We were so gassed. I can't even see that. I can't. But first of all, you assume that I can read, let alone see that from a distance. We are friends. So, COVID. Forget it. What is it? It says, uh, let's declare. Oh, let's read it. It's from uh, the Atlantic. You could throw it at the messenger basement and I could just see it. Uh, it says. Right here. Boom. Uh, copy. Actually, no, no, no. Let's send it straight there. It says, let's declare a public um, pandemic amnesty. P- a public 
pandemic amnesty. All right, so you're going to break it down to so people who don't know. Because you don't know what those words mean, so I'm going to tell you. I know it has to do with they fucked up. Uh, you know what it is? And this is why I don't like... There we go. Well, remember, they're not seeing this. Only you and I are. But So the thing about this is this. During the whole COVID situation... Oh, God, I saw this in another post. There was... You have the government's position, okay, which is Fauci and them. So whatever Fauci said is law. The government's like, this is the guy we're relying. All of our medical information, we're going to follow this guy's lead. He's the he's the doctor. He's the, and please, he's got more COVID than anybody. He's gonna, please state the nature of the medical emergency. That's the guy we're going to follow. Please say the EMS. He's the, so whatever he says, we got all, he's the freaking doctor. Emergency medical something. Program. I don't know. <laughs> So, so we're gonna follow. We're not even gonna be <laughs> nerds. <laughs> so, but that's the problem. The government put all the eggs into one basket. Number one, big mistake. You can't just follow one guy. You gotta follow a council of doctors. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, all right, we're gonna get from twelve different places. We're gonna get a uh, the head pediatrician. We're gonna get the head, uh, you know, vi- virologist, the head um, of the the who. Because, you know, they got to plan, you know, whatever pandemic. I think, of, I think of the book. Go ahead. So you got to get all these doctors together. Then somebody needs to sit down and talk to them. And then amongst yourselves, we figure out what to do. Because what happens is you left it up to this one guy. And whatever decision he made, the government. the government. That's not what this is, bitch. You're going into the whole explanation like people fucking care. Okay, I am. We yeah. know we got fucked by Ouchie Fauci. Ouchie Fauci. <laughs> <laughs> So, but because the government relied on this one guy, and they everybody, you know, the government. Remember when the government makes a law, it's at the end of a gun, always. You know what I'm saying? So, because they follow this one guy, the right wing. Oh, wait, let me start with the left wing. The left wing is like, that's God. We have to follow his rules, right? But the problem is, the right wing did the same thing. The right wing was like, Fauci saying this, and we gotta get it up instead of just ignoring him. And be like, no, one doctor said this. He counts as one person, not as freaking that God. You think that was Trump's fault? Of what? Putting Fauci there? Fauci? Scam. A scam. Scam likely. Scam likely. No, I don't think it was Trump's fault. I think Trump was doing... Okay, I'll give you an example of what Trump did. Ready? Trump had a few doctors in the White House and they spoke. They gave him ideas of what they're... This is in the member. The beginning when we didn't know what the hell COVID was. We was just trying to figure it out. One of the doctors said this. Hey, look, when we stick the tubito in their mouth to, for the air. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what that's called, right? The, the tubito? It's called a, a culture? A no. throat culture? Is it a, I don't know what it's called. The tubito, so they can breathe. Whatever it's oh, called. Oh, to breathe. Yeah. Catheter. Okay, whatever. A throat catheter. <laughs> a throat so, catheter. You're thinking about the other so, one. So, I don't know if you ever seen those little boxes where you put your, they're like, they sell it on Amazon. Like, oh, if you put your phone in it, close it, it puts like a UV light. And when you get your phone, it's disinfected. You ever seen those? Yeah. All right. So what they were saying, that tubito, if they stick a light down it, they can disinfect the area around it. It kills the virus. Are you defending the Clorox and the Todd Pines? But wait, wait, no. Listen. <laughs> so they were saying, we're considering, that's, a, that's something we're looking into right now. Okay. Another guy said, the nebulizer that people could breathe in, we've experimented with peroxide. I think it was peroxide. That people breathe it in, and uh, the coating of the lungs, when it reaches the COVID, it disinfects the COVID from the lungs, and it makes it easier for people to breathe. Mm. Again, we're experimenting. We don't know. Trump came out and was like, yeah, we're going to put bleach in the breathing in it, and then put light down their throat. And, da- and the doctors were like, what light is he doing? Light down their throat. And, do- <laughs> and the doctors were like, what is he doing? <laughs> Jesus, this guy's crazy. Why is he just coming out saying this? We're, we're just talking about ideas we're experimenting with. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what Trump messed up at. Because now people look at Trump like he's crazy. Some people drink bleach. Meanwhile, it's, it's the, the same, the, uh, a dumber analogy or, or, or it, an explanation a, yeah. of what you're saying. Instead of him throwing the bounty towels, he could have been like, you see how I have these people set up, handing out supplies? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Over here, it's just that. a dumb way to he do it. He just went in and. Like a bruto, yeah. <laughs> that's it. He's a bruto. <laughs> that's what that was. 
Because he wants to be the deliverer. He wants to be the guy. He wants to be the guy. He wants to be the guy. Let him be the fucking guy. Wait, but hold on. So that's what Trump messed up at, right? Whatever. The ideas were understandable. Remember, at the time, we didn't know what the hell was going on. But because of his delivery, it ruined it all. Anyway, that's beyond the point. Um, The point is that the left wing looked at this guy Fauci like whatever he said is God, gospel. The right wing didn't do anything different. They did the same exact thing. They started following. Well, Fauci said this, so we're going to go against it. Well, you know what nobody did? Well, not a lot of people did it. Didn't look at other doctors. I'm like, what is everybody else saying? We can't look at this one freaking guy. Everybody's looking at this guy. Left and right wing are both talking about this guy. Let's see what all the other doctors are saying. So like when Fauci was like, you got to wear your mask. It's going to stop transmission. Like 35 other doctors were saying, it stops about 30%. So it's not very effective, but it is somewhat effective. Okay. Okay. They were saying too that there's another thing people say. The right wing was saying the virus is so small it goes through the mask. Hundred percent fact. But you know what's not a fact? The virus is not airborne; it goes through saliva. The saliva isn't as big as the mask, so it gets stuck on the mask. You understand, nigga? That's. Uh. God, I'm so tired of talking about this. I know, but I'm just talking about because that's the topic. All right? No, bitch, I'm talking about because, you see, again, proving my point. Niggas don't listen. This is why. Oh, You want to touch stuff, see? Okay, yeah, you're right. Uh, this is why. Um, I don't know why you're doing anything right now. I know, you're right, you're right. I, you should, I you should be looking at me. Uh, put my hands down. <laughs> put my hands down? <laughs> put my hands down. So that's listen. what you said. Yeah. Bitch, don't. Let so, me finish my favorite right, talk because ahead, ahead, I keep saying the same shit. Us Boricuas, when we get together in the holidays, where do all the coats, the scars, and the fucking jackets, where do they all end up? Throw them on the bed. Right. So that's our version of a coat rack. Yeah. Nigga, anytime I ever go, this is why I know I don't get sick as much as other people do during the winter seasons is because... When they say, can I get you? Remember we were doing house church before um, the pandemic started? We were doing house church, yeah. whatever. And they were like, oh, can I get your jacket? No, you can't. Why would I want you to put my clean condom next to other condoms? Don't infect it with other people's germs that they were breathing, trying to stay warm. <laughs> That's how you spread shit. It's the simplest shit ever. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, Jesus Christ, I don't know where you're going with this. Because the mask, you know, the mask, the mask, for example, like now people are more aware about germs and self. And have you coughed in a crowd lately? How's that feel? How's that experience now? I don't go to crowds. I have no reason to. You live, you live in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I work in that, but I don't go in crowds. You it's haven't been in a crowd in the last two years. Maybe once or twice. And what was it like coughing lately? Like, want, what about our work? If I'm trying to squeeze through, I cough and everybody gets out of the way. The best thing to do. <laughs> it's not even a phase. But I still, like, I I, I coughed today. <laughs> I coughed today. I was on the bus. I was in the store. Everybody was like, oh, no. No. Nobody cares. The white people a little bit, so but it's, it's more like I don't I don't feel that, that what you're describing. I don't feel that anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? So to me, it's like, oh, we forgot how to be... Did we forget how to be, you know, what is it called? Hygienic? Yeah, I guess. Did we forget how to be hygienic? COVID doesn't, COVID is, everybody forgot about it already. It's over. As much as they're saying now, oh, the COVID numbers are spiking. Nobody cares. Nobody's like, whatever. Because it's it's not as strong as it used to be. Which, again, if you listen to all the other doctors and not the freaking main guy, they were all saying the same thing. Yeah, it's going to be real bad in the beginning, but after as the years go by, it's going to get weaker and weaker and weaker, and it's going to be like the common code eventually. So th- there's uh, news or not news or like commer- commercials or ads or whatever. They're like, remember New York. It's still highly recommended that you mask up. But let's be respectful and mindful of those individuals that choose not to mask up oh is that what they're saying now? and those who do let's enjoy this holiday together <laughs> meanwhile during the height of covid they were calling people that didn't wear masks um plague rats they were like they're the reason they're spreading the plague it's them they're it's it's a it's a pandemic of the unmask or the unvaccinated remember that, remember that? so that's what this article is about they're like hey we gotta forgive each other we all made mistakes 
Me, but this is why this article bothers me. And so this is an article for those of you guys who are listening. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's an article uh, published by The Atlantic. It's an article written by Emily Oyster. <laughs> and um, it's basically titled, Let's Declare a Pandemic Amnesty. I'll link it we in the bio. We need to figure we need to figure we need to forgive one another for what we did and said when we were in the dark about covid first of all the latter part about that should have avoided the first we should have all said we don't know what the fuck is going on yeah i'm gonna mask if you're not gonna mask you can't come over and that's it exactly but we're yeah. still friends i'll fuck exactly. with you when this is over yeah, maybe that turkey still be dry. And this is what I'm saying. This is what bother- what bothers me about it is not the article. What bothers me about this is the perception of what? No, the fact that these are two different peoples that are arguing, and I was saying I I was saying the sh- the stuff that they were saying here the whole time, and I was saying, look, it may be right now. We know this. We don't know everything, so take it easy. We'll figure it out as time goes along. Once we learn stuff, we can start knocking it out. Okay, the masks. Remember, people wearing like uh like uh double rags along. Or, or, they would take like freaking bandanas, and I'm like, they're that's, still that's, doing that's, that shit. That's nigga. ineffective. That's still going on. The, you know, Sam. So like, there was some people that are like, oh, COVID's fake. Remember that for a while, COVID was fake. It didn't exist. It was like five G, in the beginning. Remember that. <laughs> Do you remember that? Instantly, Mike's face came up to yes. my face. Because they were saying, isn't it a coincidence that people are getting sick in the places that the 5G towers are coming up? That was a big conspiracy in the beginning. They were like, it's all fake. People are getting sick from the towers and they're calling it COVID. Ronnie. It wasn't Ronnie, right? I don't know who Ronnie is. The lesbian chick? Damn, no, that's not her name. Go ahead. Um, anyway, the point is this. Um, it, it bothered me because both sides were arguing back and forth and it felt like there was a group of people that were in the middle that were like, why are you guys even fighting? If you, you're both jumping to conclusions so hard, just take it easy. Listen to all the other doctors here. Everybody has a different of opinion. Let's try to find a good middle ground that we can find, navigate safely okay, through it. Who are you saying that to? Was it effective? If it wasn't, why it do was you think it was It was very ineffective. It was the left and the right. So you got, the, the problem is that the left and the right are- what, Were they friends, church- uh, it's workers, a, co-workers. It, it's the entirety of humanity. It was people that were okay. So people that were far left, all of them were like, "Wear a mask. You can't go visit grandma because you're gonna get her sick." You know what I'm saying? We have to wash our groceries when we get them delivered. Remember that? Did Those you people, do that? I didn't do any of that. I did that. I didn't. Do, I'm not. I'm not gay like you. I didn't wash no groceries. He's just in the closet. There's a, <laughs> no difference. So I, I, the only time I did that was with, with potato chips. I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna tell you one thing. <laughs> I think Mad Nick is like. <laughs> I, so I used to work in the hospital, so I know the difference between the masks. So when they were like wearing the mask, they were like the surgical mask. As soon as I saw it, I was like, "That's not gonna work. That's not meant for that. How could they do that?" And my my brain started instantly going to this. He's just telling people to do stuff. There's no logic behind it. I know you need an N95. And at the time, remember before he was saying, "Don't wear a mask. It's in effect. Don't worry about it." And then he was like, "Wear these masks. High quality. Wear these masks." And K nine four. And then once they started making more masks, he's like, "All right, now we're N ninety five. Because now people are making them. So he's like, "All right, now now you can wear them." But at the time, he didn't want people buying them because they needed for the hospital. Bro, it got to the point where they were like, "Oh, you should double mask. It increases it even more. Yep. Just choke yourself. You're gonna be a hundred percent triple safe. masks. Even there was there's people that can't wear masks because it messes up their oxygen, which is a hundred percent true." For a healthy adult like most people in the, in the world, like me and you, if we were mask all day, it's not going to work. Like not this. even you, nigga. You got asthma, bitch. But even me, if I was to wear a mask all day, it wouldn't bother me because it doesn't affect me as much. It was bothering the ears. When you get in the ear Oh, parts. yeah. That's why people clip the behind their heads. Remember that? My, my, I got a big head popping. Yeah. So anyway, so there was people that have legit breathing problems. They're like, I can't wear a mask. And they will kick them out. They're like, no, you got to get out of here. I can't wear a mask. Like, I got a legit medical reason why. Anyway, they're saying, forgive us. I'm sorry, we didn't know. Meanwhile, there were people that- Oh, no, no. That's not what they're saying here. You must have misread it. Let me try again. We, you, and me oh, need that's to what forgive I'm yeah. us. Yeah, I know. No, no. no I'm, not, I'm not asking for your forgiveness. 
I'm demanding that we, we forgive, forgive each, each other. other yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think about it like Nice this. try, Emily Oyster. Not the blender brand. Imagine but close. this. No, they also do, uh, what is it called? It's a cahier. <laughs> oh, shit. You're right. Oyster, yeah. <laughs> like 20 bucks right now at Costco. Let's go. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I'm going to have to look. The set, <laughs> <laughs> so think about it like this. There's people that brought their loved ones to the hospital, the husband, their wife, their kids even. They have COVID. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to put them on a ventilator. The ventilators killed people. Did you know that? Um, yeah. There I'm was sure. instances where the COVID didn't, wasn't going to kill them. But because they went on the ventilator, it popped their lungs and it killed <sighs> them. Okay? Because they didn't know what they would do. Remember the beginning, they needed the ventilators. All of a sudden, now they don't need them anymore. Because they figured, yeah, we made a mistake. We don't need the ventilators. Yeah, this is not helping. It's not helping. But that's what I'm saying. They're already having problems breathing. We just kind of made it worse. So that's what I'm saying. In the beginning, they didn't know. So I I kind of like, all right, we're going to try until we figure out. We're going to freaking, you know, we're going to put the light down their throat. We're going to try different stuff. (laughs) We got to figure it out. This nigga likes the light down the throat. So so there's people. So imagine you go there, you bring your kid to the doctor. He has COVID. Oh, my God, he can't breathe. Put him on the ventilator. He dies in the hospital. God forbid. Okay, you can't go see him because he has COVID. You can't have a funeral. You can't do anything. That's the last time you ever saw him was dropping him off to the emergency room. No funeral, no nothing. That sounds like a movie, nigga. And what that, channel? and now these people that told us not that put us through this whole life situation are like, we gotta forgive each other. Instead of telling people, look, if you want to get COVID, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? You die if you want. If your kid died, whatever, God forbid, you know, we, we're still trying to figure out the science he died. If you want to have a funeral, that's on you and your family. Good luck. Well, hold, did you read the whole article, bitch? Because we're literally. The, I read the article. You, okay. Right. Twice, actually. I wanted to make sure. Because <laughs> I was like, we're like literally judging a book by its cover. You didn't read it. Oh, no. And I told you I would. Well, great. He yelled at me. Social distancing. That's what people <laughs> yelling at each other. Remember? This was legit happening. People were walking in the street and somebody was walking towards each other and they got out the way. And if and if somebody didn't move, they would get mad. Social distancing. And it was so quick that when one person did it, all of a sudden it's like, oh, uh, remember, bang up. Remember they were talking about, I think Joe Rogan was saying a lot too. If you take vitamin D, it helps. Come to find out. Wow, it's true. Ivermectin, all that stuff helped a little bit. I think now they figured they have better medicine. But there's so much stuff where... Not Fauci, obviously, because we're not going to listen to him, right? Because big government. All the other doctors were suggesting stuff that people were trying. And they were like, oh, this kind of works. This little bit works. Meanwhile, everybody's trying to figure stuff out. Both big left. I'm going to tell you why these articles are coming out. I'm going to tell you why I think these articles are coming out. Because niggas know the Because election season is coming. A. Yeah. (laughs) Election season is coming. We're in the the midterms. Which is sort of like getting an uh, they're they're preparing the dinner table literally. You got Thanksgiving coming together, you got family events, holidays coming together. So you know, <clears throat> this time around, it's gonna be all those conservatives. You know, just to make fun, I would show up to. I should do that. Show up with a mask on. Yo, you literally just popped in my head. I should go to. I wasn't even gonna do Thanksgiving because I don't have my son this year. <laughs> but I swear to God, I'm gonna show up with. A mask on. I always have the gloves because I'm dying. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do the mask, wear gloves, <clears throat> and I'm going to have an ugly sweater of Joe Biden on Thanksgiving where it says Christmas. And that look of bobbleness that he has on, I'm yeah. just going to roll into Thanksgiving like, hey. So that's what I'm saying. Right now, they're like, all these conservative family members are going to get together and badger all our people. Let's give them a hand by promoting peace and forgiveness and if they don't and now you all you lefties if your family members and friends if they're not on your side and they don't like join us in this peace coalition cause then they're anti-peace and we have to attack them but let me say this too the right wing is just as uh, Uh, bad because remember the right wing was saying if you got the vaccine (laughs) i know people still you know who i'm talking about (laughs) If you got the vaccine, it changed your DNA. You're, you're diff- not even human. You're not even a human. You're, which you're means a, you also lost your Christianity. You're also a plague rat, just like the one right was saying. The left was saying you're a plague rat. You're not a human. The left wing said the same oh, thing. Oh God! They're both the same side of the same coin. And no matter how many times you try to tell the left that the right is like that, and the right, the right the left, is right like that, you, you guys are up, both the same. You end up right in the middle, like you guys are both Amy Klobuchar. Yeah. 
I don't was know. it her? No. Who was the one that flipped li- recently? Oh, Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi Gabbard. Yeah. yeah, you end up like her in yeah. the middle. In the We're middle. just going to go in the middle like, now. Like, you guys are both ridiculous. I can't join either one of you sides. I'd rather be a freaking independent. And just be like, I'm just going to be here. And that's the thing about independent. They're all like, we're all independent. And they'll all look at each other like, we're independent of each other too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's no unity. There's no. Well, there's no independent party. There's no. You know? there, there's no voice. Yeah. There's no leader. There's no. Let me. I got this. Assassinate me first. And it's funny because I feel like, I mean, I'm not going to even say. It. the. Uh, there's parties that fit in the middle there easily. But. You can't get a third party because then it takes away power from either one and they're both going to fight to keep power. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell people on the right, leave the right wing and join the central party. Join the independent party. You can't do that because then the, the right, the big corporation, right wing, whatever you want to call it, the government, is like, no, don't do that. They're trying to take votes. Same thing for the left. You can't go to the left and be like, hey, join the independent because no, you're taking right votes away from us. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, creating a third party is the, is the ultimate cop out. We should have a cop out. They, like I said it a million times, there's five. There's five parties in America, whether you believe it or not. There's two that they talk about. There's five in general. You got the far left, far right. You got the center left, center right, and then you got the centrist, complete centrist. The think, well, I would I would thought it would have been extreme extreme on both sides. Yes. the regular regular, and the niggas that just don't give a fuck at this point. <laughs> yeah. So then, so the thing too is if if you break it down to more parties, let's say there really was five parties that had to vote, you would need to convince two other parties to win an election. That means your ideas got to be solid. You can't say anything crazy. Let's say I was right far right, and I wanted to win an election. I would need two other parties. Yeah, but I don't. I to, feel like to join me. I feel like it's. It, I think. Listen, listen, listen. We got two parties right now. You're saying five. I agree. Sure, you could dice it up like that, but they're already walling out with the idea of three. Imagine five. I know. Let's get three on the board. I, I'm just saying there is five. Oh, t- theoretically, yeah. hell yeah. But they vote as two, and and the ones that are on each side, like do like I'm Democrat, I'm Republican, but I'm not extreme. Yeah. Are like defending the extreme. Yeah, and the problem and is, and the extreme are looking at them like you're. We might as well go to the other side. Yeah, like there. That's why it feels like there's even a division within yeah. the parties, which is another added reason to just throw a middle joint. That's what I was telling Mike. He was like, he was talking about rhinos. You know, what rhinos are those are the ones with the horns. Yeah, no, but they're they're left leaning Republicans. The rhinos. They call them rhinos, and I told them those are those those are the most important members you have in your party, not the far. The rhinos, the guys that are more center, because they're more likely to convince somebody else. Not the donkey. Or the or whatever. They call them dinos on the Republican the Democrat side. You can convince them to join you. They're the most important. They hold the most power. You know what I'm saying? If you can vote either way, and you know the right is always gonna vote right. The left is always gonna vote left. If you're who in the was, middle who, when we think about the Democratic Party, who juiced that up? Who made that like who who stood ground and was like, yo, this is it? What do you mean? Like who created the Democratic Party, or what voice was really behind it, advocating for it? Before what created it? You're Bitch, talking about, you're talking about like the beginning of American history. <laughs> Democrats? Yeah, they used to be called the Democrat Democratic Republican Public. Party. Yeah, and now they just go by Democrat. And right, and when it split, when it, they just go by, was it Kennedy? No, it was before no, Kennedy. way before Kennedy. I, f- I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know when it just stop, when they stop referring to themselves as Repub- Democrat Republicans. Right, whoever think there, there must have been a nigga that I was like, you it, know what, that's it. We're the Democrat. I think that. it might have been when the Republican Party formed during World War Two. I mean, World War Two, Jesus Christ, the Civil War. That nigga right there. I think when they became Republican, the Democrats are like, so then we'll just trade Democrat. Lincoln. Lincoln, the first. Lincoln. Yep. Like he's the first Republican. We need a we need a Lincoln. We need a, a Martin Luther King. Well, the thing is, people we used to believe this stuff for an independent party. No, they used to believe in what the Republicans believe in. Are no, I know, but I'm just saying to form what I've been saying about Puerto Rico, right? <laughs> to to get something going, there has to be a voice, a leader. Uh, the guy who's gonna, yeah, there's got to be that. A Mark Anthony, a Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny could do it. 
If Bad Bunny would come out and join a party, he'd be president of, of, of Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah, for sure. He should join the independent movement. Oh, that'd be so good. He's almost there. He really is. He's he really there. could. He's almost there. It will, So, or this forgiveness of COVID. <sighs> I don't want to forgive the city officials that forced me to take a vaccine. No, nope, I don't want to either. I want them to compensate me. And I don't. And I don't want to. I don't. Even, do me a favor. Don't talk about it in Thanksgiving, because it was a violation of my body. Yeah. My <sighs> body, my choice. You, you, you forced yourself upon me. And you, like like my 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 left leaning cousins or whatever, uh, you, and all the conservatives on the other side, for talking shit because I decided to make a choice that mm, let's see, puts food on my son's table. Yeah. So you coming at me as a rat? Because I I had no choice. Because I had no choice. You're gonna come at me. Yeah. Like so, fuck you two. And 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 on top of that. And another thing that bothers me too is that they're both advocating for certain things, and neither one of the sides have scientific backing. Neither one of them. You know what I'm saying? They were both wrong, but they hold to their thing. Both wrong and what? <clears throat> like the pandemic being a okay. Pandemic? So like the, the vaccine. The vaccine. They were talking about oh, it's gonna stop the spread. We're gonna get rid of. That's COVID. one side. What was the other side? That's what the I'm other side is. You got the vaccine. It's gonna change your DNA. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Neither one of them right. had science behind it. You know what I'm saying? Shit, even COVID don't have, doesn't have science behind it. Yeah. Even we don't even know if it's where it came from. Now, that, I might be a little conspiracy theory about it. No, it has to be now. But the only reason why I'm in that camp is because it seems the most logical. China? It, it, that it came from a lab. That it didn't come from some animal somewhere. A bird took a... Took a crap on a donkey or something like that. They're saying now viruses start like that, hundred percent. That's how they start. <clears throat> but it happened to happen in a city where there's a a lab experimenting on COVID. That's just random. In the same area, it's not like it was the same town. And it's such a big city that it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like it literally happened right there. That's coincidence. And then like a year before, two people died from a spe- uh, a mysterious disease that's very similar to COVID. That's what I'm saying. To me, that's not a conspiracy. So you're following the logic. Oh, 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 okay, this makes sense. Obviously, they're not going to reveal it because it's another country. Then they have no reason to tell anybody about this. If China was to be found guilty of doing releasing it, think about it. The whole world will come against them. They'll be suing them. They wouldn't get anything from them. But they'll look what they're doing to Russia now with the, you know, with the what's the word I'm looking for? The blockade, or whatever. You know they're not buying oil from Russia. They 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 they're taking out companies from Russia. What's the word I'm looking for? You don't know. But imagine they did with China. They took all their business away from China. China's not rich. China's not a rich country. You know what I'm saying? The elites have money. The citizens are poor. You're not no not tariffs. No no no. That's when you you tax shit more for goods. Um, uh, so. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about when I look at the news article by Miss Oyster, um, Emily. I think about Thanksgiving coming up, and I think about wanting to express my frustration to the people I care about the most. Yeah. I want to yell at them. Yeah, but like you. And meanwhile, you were lied to just like I was. No, but the thing is... And you came at me. I think you came at me. I think that's my... That's the part that got me fucked up. We could both be lied to and both believe this. Oh my God, is this real? Yeah, but I didn't come at you. Yeah. But now I want to come at you. Yeah. I want to come at you and put you in your place. I want to go to my cousin's house, my brother's house, my family's house, all those all those left because they're all left, all you motherfuckers. Um, I want to go over there with the mask on to taunt them. I want to go over there with um, <laughs> with my COVID card and with my PCR. You should pick a, put a shirt on a shirt. Because at <laughs> one time, it, that was required for us to get together. 
at someone's house in my circle. Let's see. That's crazy. So I want to show up. I got it now. What happened? Nobody's doing this now? And then you should go with news articles saying that COVID is more more prevalent now than ever. But like, this is real, guys. But I'd be wrong for doing that. No, you wouldn't. And is that what the article is trying to avoid? They're saying everybody's wrong, even you. (laughs) But not them, obviously. Oh, no, everyone's wrong in the sense of what we were told or what we believe. But how we acted is we're not going to talk about that. We're going to forgive. That's why we need the thumbs down button. This nigga brought the last episode of last week. (laughs) Five minutes later. (laughs) No, that's... That's why we need the thumbs down. Come on, Elon. Honestly... And it was because this this similar topic was on Fox Five News. Y'all niggas holla at me. Let me redesign your show. God, um, I think that that's I think that that's why I was telling Danny, I was telling my brother, I was telling uh, um, myself, I was like, I don't want to go to the holidays this year. I just don't. Yeah. And I'm like, maybe that's why it is. Maybe I'm fucking twisted. Because I think about the vaccine. I don't even know where my... I'm sure I could find this somewhere saved on a file somewhere. But it's like, this will never be necessary ever. Bro, ever. That whole card. No. I have it in my wallet. Seriously? Right now. Now you carry it. I No, I always had it. I never had to use it. Oh. But I just have it in there. And it's funny because the other day I, was, I had cash. I never have cash. I had cash. I went to put out cash and I looked at it and I was like, so retarded. I can't believe I still got this card. I can't believe this was necessary. And I told you this person bought uh they went to one of those um, thrift shops and they bought a box of just junk. People just had it. He's like, I buy the whole box. And inside the box was a brand new unopened pack of the COVID vaccine cards. Just to show you there's nothing now. Wow. I I um so what happens in the next pandemic? How fucked up will that be? Yeah. The thing is, we got to uh, stop listening to one person. We got to listen to the coalition of scientists that are doing their thing. Every time you say that shit, I picture the Lord of the Rings and the sword of King Arthur and everyone at the night table. <laughs> That's what we got to do. If you listen to one guy, if he makes one mistake, everybody's fucked. Okay, so you got 20 guys all spitting different things, So, but what do we decide? You find a consensus. What can we all agree on? And then after you find a consensus of what we majority at least agree on, five five out of the the uh, eight people, whatever the number is, uh, two out of three say we're going to do this. Okay, fine. I would add, let's try this for the first three months or whatever time yep. frame. That don't work. Now we got to default to the other one. But also, tell the public that. Don't just be like, oh, everybody got to wear a mask. Be like, look, we don't know. We're doctors that are the head of the field. They're we don't saying, know. put this, put that, and we're, we're going to try, try that this for out now. For, yeah, we're going to try it for three months and see where it goes. And see where it goes. And then if we have to add things or take it, we want to take it away. Yeah, yeah. We want to return back to normal yeah. as fast as you guys can because this is going to hurt everybody's wallet. Think about it. If, a do- if they said that on TV, oh my God. I would feel so much relieved. Like, okay, we're in this together. It doesn't feel like somebody's telling me what to do. Like, you got to do this. You got to do this. It feels like, look, we're trying to figure this out. We're all in this together. We got to figure this out. So I think the adage to this in that article in this episode is to tell conservatives or people on that side of the fence that, Listen, we're going to be the government. Our leaders are going to be more transparent in the decision making. So it makes sense that we're making we're leaving it not just to one person, but we're we're coming together with the best that we have and coming up with more than one solution based on votes. We're going to try A, B, C and D. Now, the other side, it means that you don't have to you don't have to every time the government says jump, you don't have to be like, hi, hi. Yeah, it's OK. Yeah. We still our interest is in protecting you. This is this is this is the steps that we're gonna take. We're gonna try this. So to reassure you, because it seems like you're panicking for no fucking reason every time we breathe, to reassure you, look at the other ideas that are coming up that will come into play if and when it's needed. But you know what's the most important, guys? We're gonna let you know what's up as we're going through it. Yep. 
That'd we were going through, the mayor was giving briefings every day. I thought that was great. Maybe every day. Mm, but uh, still, it's nice. That, it's the it's idea. better than nothing. It's great. It's yeah. okay. Listen, our numbers show this today. We had tried this thing this whole weekend of, you know, trying to whatever it was. And it we're looking at the numbers and it did have an impact. We should keep trying this for now. Yeah. For now. And then see where we are four that's, months from now. That's where why it's he warmer. won an Emmy. Did you he know did? that? He won an award for that, a TV award. I'm not surprised for some reason. <laughs> no. Some left wing award. No, he's a teacher. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen. I, if if there's anything to take away from this, and you consider yourself uh, not walling out on either side of the spectrum, or even if you are, I mean, I think to take away from this, if this article meant anything to you, attack away. That conversation gonna be lit in the tur- <laughs> yep. turkey turkey. Show them this article. Bring it with you. Load Show- it up in your phone. Load it up. Bring it in. You know what you do right before you walk in the door? Text it to everybody and then open the door. Like, hey guys. I'm gonna tell you why you should voice your opinion and not listen to these motherfuckers. It's because you already survived two Thanksgivings throughout the shit. Yeah. Have at it. Let your feelings out. Let your emotions out. And if you left this and, and, and people who are trying to control over the world, if you really want to make it even, Steven, then put the dislike button. Put the thumbs down. Put it down, Elon. People need feedback. I love negative feedback. Let's go. Let's do it. Give Why them, not? Give them the negative feedback this Thanksgiving. Don't hold back. Why not? Let them hear it. They need to hear it. They want to hear it. They have to hear it. You think so? They need it. That lady who was crying when Trump won. <sighs> yeah, she needs it. She needs it. You got so serious. She needs it. No, because you know what it is? <laughs> I I feel concerned for people like that because they probably those people that they got an award for everything they've ever did, even if they did bad. Oh, you get a participation award. They're those people. So as soon as they lose, they can't handle it. When when uh when Biden won, you see people screaming in the streets. It's funny because that day, you know what they did? They tore down the Capitol building. <laughs> Be about action, all right? Don't just scream in the streets. Don't street. just talk about it. Be about it. Uh, that day, you know, obviously, um, whatever, they were screaming in the streets. You remember? Yeah. And I was with my whole left family, and I couldn't help but feel like they were doing one of these like looking at yeah. me from I, the corner st- of their eye to see what my reaction you know what's was funny i stood up late watching the election like it was a sports event texting ernie from texas right <laughs> and i remember as why the, ernie fuck him because he was a big trump guy and i remember watching it and as it was getting more and more towards trump in my heart i felt like oh my god is this good Maybe, did you say, did I fuck up? Maybe this was a mistake that he's going to win. Because also when he won, he People looked, were saying like. Yeah, also when he won, it almost felt like he didn't know. He was like. No, he was shocked. He was shocked, yeah. Oh, Even he Hillary was. couldn't believe it. She went out the Javits Center, bro, remember? But well, then once he started talking. Like, can you imagine me, Beyonce, Jay-Z, trying to like turn up, trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody in the crowd is crying because they can. <clears throat> but, um. But I'm after a you few think she'll run again ever? Hillary? Hillary. She might try, bro. Bro. She, she's come out and started saying Wild shit. Yeah. Yeah, she's already out, say shit. But my thing is like after that kind of bullshit. No. Look it up. Uh I wouldn't I wouldn't I know she doesn't have she def she probably has way first of all, she definitely has way more balls than I do. Because yeah. I wouldn't be I would be hiding. Unless she's really feels conviction of what she believes. Oh no, she's, she's like, no. You guys are wrong. We have to do this. She right? has to the show face because yeah. I would have been like, you know what? I'm just gonna go hide with Monica Lewinsky. Yikes! Ooh, we drop it like it's hot. Blah. That's it. Talk about it. <laughs> if she ran again, bro, that'll be just embarrassing. And imagine she won. You know that this nigga supposedly Lee Zeldin is like. Uh, this bitch is out there shaking niggas' hands in the ferry. Who? <laughs> oh, cool. oh, yeah? She's, She's desperate. Out. She wants to get out there. 
People are sick of it. She's in the Bronx. That's probably why they put out this article. I mean, you said it before, but they people are like, no, we're sick of all your policies, what you did to us these past two years. Fucking we're sick of it. Bullshit rhetoric. Nonstop. If I ran into her, I would tell her straight up, like, what are you doing to the city? It's a disaster. You've destroyed New York City. You and whatever the guy's the last guy. What was his name again? Cuomo. You guys destroyed New York City. Destro- Annihilated. Yeah. And you should give people the freedom that if they want to die, that's their own business. You seen the the news report news reporter for CNN trying to get an interview from some lady. I don't know who the fuck the lady is. Some politician, some lady, and the Nicole Malley attackers. No, <laughs> and you've seen this article as I describe it. You're gonna be like, yeah, 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 I, I do. And I, and the, the reason why I mentioned this, I'll go, I'll get to that to the latter part. So the Chinese uh, CNN reporter is like, hey, oh, Miss whatever, Kravis something with a whatever, Miss white lady, and uh, okay, oh, could, do you have a more for a question? And then she goes, oh, uh, CNN. I was like, you know what? I'll do an interview. He's like, oh, an interview? Yeah, I'll do an interview on um, CNN Plus. You guys still have that, right? <laughs> oh, no, you don't, right? You know why, right? Because people are not buying into your lies and your rhetoric. Yeah. That's why. Like, was that oh. the same interview where she was like, oh, you're not wearing your mask? Yes, that yeah, same yeah, yeah, one. Yeah. Nigga, if you read for any, any political thing, that's what I picture yeah, yeah, you yeah. doing every <laughs> single time you get stopped. Yeah. By anybody. Hell yeah, I would love it. I, that, I, that's the only reason I would vote for and, you. Uh, and honestly, if you don't care to win, it doesn't matter. You just say whatever you want. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's like whatever. I don't care. Do you think that's why Trump won? Wow. Just... <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Trump didn't Your care. face just blew up. He I, didn't care. Brain matter is all over this room. I got to clean up. That's what it was. He just didn't care. He was like, whatever. I don't give a crap. Otherwise, you'd be in jail. Oh, such a good thing. Lock all of them up. I said, lock them up, Hillary. The basement. Sit. Please. You, you know what's cool about the basement, too? Bitch, I'll just cut it right there. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is visible. I'm like, shut up. Stop talking. Yo, what up, everybody? If you like what you saw, please click on some of the video links on the side and please support our channel by liking, subscribing, and leave a little comment. And maybe we'll respond back to you and hopefully you'll be a guest on our next episode. <laughs> Spewing disrespect, turn to God to disaffect. That's what to Trump now. Let's inspect to interject on what the youngest spit in on spitting for where the sacred text again.